Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. In this video, we are going to talk about NPM script. Let's first understand the use cases of NPM script. NPM scripts are used to automate tasks like minifying CSS, uglifying JavaScript, building project, starting the application, running tests, generating test reports, deleting temporary files and folders, etc. There is a script property in the package.json file. This is where our npm scripts will go. npm scripts are written using JSON key value pairs where the key is the name of the script and the value contains the script you want to execute. So these scripts are simply the terminal commands. These commands run in the shell of the operating system on which they are executed. So it might be bash for Linux and command.exe for Windows. So whenever we create the package.json inside the script object, we always have this test provided out of the box. Now, if you want to execute this, you have to say npm run hyphen script and then this key test. That is one way of doing it. So you can execute this and this is being echoed out. Error note test specified. And then exit one gives us this npm error. The other way you can run this is by using the command npm run. You run this, you get the same result back. Now there is one more way because these are special npm commands and we have more in this list. So I just add one comma at the end and come here and type two double quotes. And then these are the scripts with names that npm recognize and attaches special meaning to. In this command, this backward slash what you are seeing is used to escape these double quotes. Can I create my custom stages as well? Of course you can. npm also lets you define your own custom scripts. Let's take a custom npm script that outputs hello world to the console. So we say, say hello. Echo. Hello. That's it. We save this. Now we have to run npm run and say hello. This will it executed and it prints hello onto the console. But watch this. I have used run here. Can I run this command without mentioning this run command in here? So no, it didn't work out. So the thing is, custom npm scripts must be preceded by either run hyphen script or run for them to be executed correctly and hence we have to use npm run and then the name of the command for custom scripts uh, we see two ampersand signs so what are these so these are used to chain commands and we can use double ampersand or two pipe uh, symbols and these are basically the operators the double ampersand operator links two commands together. The second command will run only if the first has an exit status of zero. That is, if the first command was successful, which means the double ampersand operator short circuits. That is, if one command fails, no subsequent command is run. Multiple instances of double ampersand operator can be used on the same line. Let's see an example of it. So I say, make a directory with the name test double ampersand change to the drive and then add one more subdirectory inside this let's give it one more folder let us save this and execute it again Okay, 
So the command is executed successfully and you also see a new folder test is being created and inside that there should be one more folder. Yes, so it's there. If we run it again, mkdi test will error out since the directory with the name test already exists and hence the following commands won't run. Let me make a simple change in here eg ain. If I run this, we get the error back. A subdirectory, a file already exists, and hence this folder wasn't created inside it. I can refresh and show you this folder is not created, and hence I made this change. We also have two pipe symbols. It provides us a mechanism to specify what commands to run if the first fails. Each command in the chain will be run only if the previous command did not succeed, that is, had a non zero exit status. So let us make a change here and save it. Let's execute this again. Now, this already exists, right? But we have used or now. So this failed and this one got executed. And if we see in here, now we have this folder. Great. So we can chain commands using double ampersand and double pipe operators. However, this makes our scripts look a little dirty. One way to write clean script is to use pre and post hooks. To create pre and post scripts for any scripts defined in the script section of the package.json, simply create another script with a matching name and add pre and post to the beginning of them. You can create pre and post hooks for both special and custom scripts so let's create first for special scripts so all i'm going to do here is echo test and let me create the pre and this so we have pre test and here i say echo before test now here I create post test and I say echo after test. Let us now run npm test, execute that, and you see first this echo before means this pre test got executed. Then we have this test which is executed and finally we have the after test. Oh, the important thing that we have to note here is the order in which these stages are mentioned doesn't matter. The pre and post before the script name tell npm to execute these scripts before and after the, the particular script. So I can also do, I can put it at the top. Save it run it again and we'll still see the same order so we have echo before test then we have echo test and then we have echo after test okay now let us do the same with our custom script so all you have to do is you have to just first copy this say pre paste this in here and that is it so now you're going to say echo before hello and same with the post it's a post paste this echo post hello so save it and run it great so we see before hello then hello and then post hello before I conclude this you might have already realized one drawback of writing terminal shell uh, commands in our scripts. Terminal commands make our scripts platform dependent. Meaning, if your script is written for Unix system, chances are it won't work on Windows and vice versa. One solution could be to write one script each for Unix and Windows command line. This approach may work in use cases where the scripts aren't that complex and there aren't many scripts. However, 
it quickly becomes clear that they are not a good solution to the problem. So how do we get around this? So you have to use a node package. You can use node package like uh, cross env uh, instead of uh, shell commands. Go here. This is a node package cross environment and you can download that in your project and use it. I hope you like that. Thank you so much.